Hi guys, this is Angel from PRW Entertainment. Welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 complete tutorial. This tutorial is going to be really pleasant for you guys because I'm going to teach you here how you can create different projectiles. And for now, we're just going to create two. One is going to be a magic power, maybe a power ball or something like that. And the other one is just going to be a sphere, but you can think of, of it as a bullet for a gun or something. So I'm using the same project that we use for our items, so I'm just going to keep on this one. I'm going to create my projectiles folder, and we're going to start working with the first one. Now the first one, let's create a blueprint, it's going to be an actor, it's going to be bullet. And from here, let's work with this one first. So we're going to add the collision. We're going to add the collision, we're going to add a static mesh, and we're going to add the projectile movement. There we go. For the projectile movement, I will use the speed of 5000, maximum speed is going to be 5000, and for the velocity, it's going to be 5000. So let me check here on the collision. Collision, collision. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Now let's not let's not touch this. Let's just add the sphere first. Shape. A smaller sphere. There we go. So I'm gonna pull it down. I'm gonna add a material. It's gonna be metal chrome. So now let's go back to our viewport here and let's get our blueprint character. So we need to create a couple of things here. And the first thing that we are going to tell the engine is that the character, the spawn, has to spawn the actor, the blueprint, the, the bullet, the projectile, whatever you create, it has to spawn and where it's going to spawn. So right here we're working on the third person character blueprint. So let's tell him that he's going to spawn right in front of him. So for that, Let's just right click type spawn actor from class oh here we have it uh, we're gonna use the left mouse button for this one so we can start working with the event here and let's get our class that is the projectile one hmm which name that I gave it let me see um, items break down oh I gave bullet my bad so let's go back to our third person that's gonna be bullet okay so now we need to make a transform here so type make transform there we go and from here we just will start telling where exactly he's going to spawn in the game so for now for us it's supposed to spawn in front of the character so we need to get the character's location for that. So just right click, get actor location. There we go. And let's add a pin to this. Vector plus vector. So I'm going to put this one here. And we need to also get the rotations. Let me click this one here on the location. We need to get the rotations. So for that, we need to create. A, let's create a variable. It's going to be a vector. Hmm. We can put here a weapon offset. Let's compile. Let's put. From here, we will start telling where exactly it's going to start spawning. So let's type. 100 for the X, 30, maybe 30, yeah, 30 for the Y, and five, 10, and 10, 15, 15 for the Z, there we go. And now let's right click, let's type rotate vector, so every time we rotate, he will also rotate the view of your projectile where you're pointing at. Put it here, and now we need. To, let's put this on public just in case we need it later. So here we're gonna tell him exactly <coughs> where 
is going to be the location and everything from where he's going to be spawning. And now we need to get the control of rotation. It's really important to tell the engine that every time you rotate, he's supposed to spawn, you know, to throw the bullet, the projectile, where you're pointing at. If you don't add this part, he will always start, he will always be spawning the projectile only to one location. So to evade that, just add the control rotation, get control rotation, and we need to link the purple value, return value with the rotation, and we also need to link it over here, as you can see we have another rotation here, so we need to link this one with the rotation over there too on the transform and let me create a function for this because we got like a lot of stuff on our event graph I'm gonna delete this I'm gonna create a function spawn projectile uh, bullet so I'm gonna add it here there we go so now um, okay so let's put it here let's drag it let's make another one but this one is going to be four mm. well let's let's do that one later okay so let's go to our projectile I want to do like both at the same time just to make things really quick but if I do it you guys won't understand all the stuff going around so let's keep on one first and then we'll work with the other one so on the UN graph let's delete all these events because we don't really need them let's add an event hit now we need to add impulse from here we will tell the velocity how fast it's going to start uh, spawning and uh, and where he's pointing at. So let's let's take it for the sphere. Let's take it for the sphere here. There we go. <coughs> so now let's get the velocity that we already put at that on the projectile movement. Get the velocity. We need to get the actor location so he can start throwing the projectile from where the actor is and we're talking about the actor of the projectile we're not talking about the, the character and from here let's multiply this for vector with float I'm gonna connect this one here and this one I'm gonna connect it to the location because this is the location that we're working on and for this one I'm gonna put it on the impulse so we're just telling here how fast it's going to be so let's compile and let's take it for a drive let's see what happens yeah it's too too small we can't see it <laughs> okay so let's let's put it bigger Okay, there we go. Ah, <sighs> bigger. Still too small. There we go. So remember that we just need to work with the pitch, no, with the drawing, everything here for the character, for the camera. That's why he is shooting where we are looking at. So. We got our projectile already working. You can add physics to it so it can bounce around the map and stuff like that. So now that we have our first projectile, let's create another one. Let's create one that, okay, this error because it's just passing by. He's not simulating the physics. So let's create another one. So let's just duplicate this one. This one is going to be magic. And let's say that the magic let's change the mesh let's change the mesh here 
and for the mesh no I'm not gonna change it I'm just gonna hide this I'm just gonna hide it so we can't see it and I'm gonna add a particle system here so the particle system let's see what we can get we can get the sparks let's get the sparks yeah that should be cool okay so on our event graph we have the same as the other one the only thing now is that on our third person we need to tell him that it's not going to be the bullet it's going to be the magic projectile so for this I'm just gonna take all this and create another function so I'm gonna create another function here it's gonna be spawn projectile um, magic There we go. So I'm gonna paste this here. And I'm gonna connect this one with this one. There we go. And we need to change our class. It's going to be magic. There we go. So I'm gonna compile. Now let's test the magic. Oh, we are still getting the bullet because I didn't then remove from the event graph that we need to choose the other function there we go there we go so from here you got magic balls and stuff like that We can put it a lot bigger just to make it look better. So let's get really quick in there. I think this tutorial is already over. Put a projectile. Wow, that looks so nice. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's big. Look at that. <laughs> well, guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hope you guys like your tutorials for the projectiles and everything else that we have been working on. Ah. Hope to see you guys around. This is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Hit the like, write a comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.